Now, listen guys, I know how much you all hate it when I do paid advertisement videos, and I'm fully aware of how angry you get when I do so. I don't have any sort of follow-up to that, just wanted to make it clear, but also, this video is brought to you and sponsored by Wargaming. They've recently approached me asking to play their hit game World of Tanks, a game I've actually been wanting to try out for quite some time. World of Tanks is a free-to-play tank-based arena-style game with over 450 different tanks to obtain and 150 million players to use them against. The game itself is a mix between many different things. It's a simulator, letting you experience the truly mind-blowing amount of authentic detail that they've poured into each and every one of these tanks. It's an RPG, letting you research and upgrade your favorite vehicles to make them even more terrifyingly effective on the battlefield. It's an action game, bringing the most intense, fluent tank battles that I've ever seen in any video game ever. And most importantly though, it's a strategy game, where working together with your comrades and devising an effective battle strategy is required in order to achieve victory. The game is available on PC, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, App Store, Mac App Store, Windows 10 devices, and Google Play. If I've done a good job of convincing you and you're interested in joining, the first 300 people to sign up with the link in the description and using code IAMTANKER2016 will get 7 days premium time, 250 gold, which is a very hard to come by in-game currency that's worth a lot, and a free Churchill 3 tank. So go sign up today! Okay, the first thing that we should probably do in a game all about tanks is learn how to operate a tank. I, I think that's a pretty good place to start. Welcome to Battle Training. Here you will learn to control your tank and destroy enemy vehicles. Alright guys, you heard the man. Let's go destroy some... Imni vehicles. Damn. You know, Halo 3 was right. Tank really does beat everything. You know, I gotta admit, for a free-to-play game, the graphics are actually surprisingly pretty. Well done, Wargaming. Well done. Ooh, look at this stupid idiot right here. Look at this stupid idiot. He doesn't stand a chance against my advanced circle tech. Boom! Easy. All right, check this one out, though. Check this one out. Are you ready? Boom! Okay, I'm the best. Even even in a tank, I am the best sniper ever made. Man, if we're doing this well in the beginner's how to play tutorial, I got a pretty good feeling about this. So, it would appear that we've got nine different tanks to choose from right off the bat, but being a true American patriot, you already know that we're gonna go America all over their asses right now! Roger, roger, 10-4 good buddies, this is Thunderfoot Bulldog here. Let's go hand out them dare tank shares like good old Wally World hands out them deals. Let's get her done, bud. Hoo this boy right here is running away faster than a cat runs from a bath. Sorry, buddy, ain't no one go up against the Thunderfoot Bulldog and don't get the bite. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, check out this one right here, boys. We're gonna give this guy the old backdoor blowgun. All you gotta do is just get nice up in there and then boom, baby, get her done, get her done. And that right there is gonna be the final kill of the game, proving yet again that Thunderfoot Bulldog is the greatest tank operator on the face of the earth. Thank you very much. All right, good buddies, let's keep this momentum going. Let's go ahead and give them another taste of what the old Thunderfoot Bulldog has to serve. We got some tank shells cooked up real nice just for them. I, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, well, it would appear that the old Thunderfoot Bulldog is in need of some roadside assistance. Uh, good buddies? Guys? Shit. Well, uh, look at it this way. We've got the area immediately in front of this bush on lock. So that's a plus. Oh, hey. Hey, 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 you there, you there. Do you think you could, like, lend me a hand, friend? I could certainly use the help. <gasps> yes, 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 yeah! Oh, Thunderfoot Bulldog is back on the hunt, boys. Now let's go get these last few some bitches and head back home. Wow! Okay, I think it's time to put down Thunderfoot Bulldog and try something else. So let's go ahead and check out some of the other tanks. Holy shit. 
that's a lot of options right there. Um, I'm gonna need a minute. Alright boys, I've been looking it over, and the Gochiro, the finest Japanese weapon to ever be created, is going to be our new main vehicle of destruction. Let's do this! Okay, now, I'm still not super familiar with driving a giant heavily armored death machine, but I do drive a Honda, which is also Japanese, so, you know, this can't be too different from that, right? Yo, never mind. Driving around is for suckers. I think I just found the best strategy in the whole game right here. Just find a little crack in the wall and set up camp. <laughs> nothing, nothing can even hit me. I, oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. Now this right here is some intense shit. Make your move, you son of a bitch. I'm right here. Come on. Bait the shot. Bait the shot. You fool! It's all over for you. I oh oh wait oh god. Uh, back go. Oh oh man. Oh jeez. Man, this just isn't fair. I mean, how am I supposed to kill anyone with this thing? This isn't like my Honda at all. It's like I'm maneuvering a goddamn tank or something. Oh yeah, that's right. Ow ow ow. You know, don't don't mind me, you guys. I'm just trying to pass through. Don't you mind, little old me. Man, I don't even know what the hell happened this game, but we're only like two minutes into the match and only four of us are left alive. Oh, oh, hang on. Hold that thought. And yep, only three of us are left alive. Things are just really not looking too good right now. Y you just gotta go. You just gotta get out of here, buddy. Just run away. Oh my God. Oh my God. The humanity of it all. All right, I think it might be time for yet another change of pace. Now, I've been thinking about it, and if there's one thing that we all know about Germany, it's that they're currently in a very dangerous, rapidly declining political state due to their leader harboring and manipulating millions of people that don't respect the laws and foundations of Germany as a whole in order to gain support from them, thus keeping her in indefinite power, despite the fact that her entire country is falling into complete and utter shambles directly because of her actions. Case in point, this, 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 and this. Oh, and tanks. They're known for making some pretty good tanks, too, so uh, let's try one of those out. Okay, so it looks like this tank is a special snowflake and works more like a machine gun than an actual, like, tank. That's pretty interesting. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I thought that this thing would be a little bit more heavily armored. God damn it! No wonder these Jags lost both world wars. I can't even see... I don't even know where the hell it is I'm getting shot from. God, if that's you, please take one of my teammates instead of me. Okay, thanks, asshole. <sighs> yeah, sorry, Stromheim, but it looks like German science isn't all that it's cracked up to be. All right, though, on a more serious note, I would like to take just a little bit of time to talk about this game a little bit more. Now, I know that when I say this, a lot of people are going to think I'm saying it just because I'm being paid to, but I actually genuinely do enjoy World of Tanks a lot. I've had my eye on this game for quite a while now, and as most people probably are, I was a little bit skeptical, admittedly. Any game that's free to play and not incredibly popular immediately raises a lot of red flags but allow me to take some of those flags down for you real quick. I'll say it again, it truly is mind-blowing just how much detail they've put into every single one of these tanks. 450 is an absurdly high number, and it really shows just how passionate and dedicated the team behind this game really is. The combat, again, as said, is seriously the best I've ever seen for tanks in video games, which does make sense considering that is the video game, but the thing about the controls here is they really aren't that hard to pick up, you know? For the most part, it really just boils down to moving, aiming, and shooting. Now, obviously, it's a bit more in-depth than that. I mean, hell, I haven't even mentioned consumables, or your crew, or ammo, or any of the other major parts of the game, but what I'm trying to say is, it's not hard to learn, and it's really, really good. I can wholeheartedly say that I highly recommend giving this game a try for yourself, which, if you do, make sure to use the link in my description for some free stuff, because trust me, you're gonna want that free stuff.
Paladins is for poor and stupid people because there exists a better alternative, but World of Tanks is the best of the best when it comes to this type of game, and I'm really hard pressed to believe that anyone could do it better than Wargaming. Make sure to spam comments on how much of a total fucking sellout douchebag I've become, and outro.